How's it going guys? This is Jace with 1-800-POCKET-PC and continuing our series of Windows Phone Mango 7.5 videos. Today we're going to take a look at Internet Explorer. Now the first thing that should jump right out at you is the address bar has moved from the top to the bottom and we did lose the bar at the bottom that gives us tabs, favorite, etc. Now um, first of all I want to show you that <clears throat> we have of course the browser should look familiar and if we turn off to the side right here the address bar is still accessible when we go into landscape mode. So I can go in here, type in another address. Of course, you know, standard stuff. But if we swipe up right here, we have our tabs, our recent sites, um, our favorites. Those are available. Um, those are available to us as well. So again, we did lose the bar that gives us access to um, tabs, favorites, and stuff like that. But if we swipe up right here, um, Go into tabs, this should be a very familiar interface. I can open a new tab, I can go into my favorites, I'll select a site, and there we go, um, we're off and away. So overall, you know, I like the improvement, I like having that extra real estate on the screen, moving that address bar to the bottom, um, but we did take a hit, we lose the, tab, the easy tabs integration, and we lose the favorites integration, which um, to me is, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a pro and a con at the same time, so it doesn't really bother me that much. And I will take the HTML5 functionality trade-off, um, any day, so that's really nice. Speaking of HTML5, I want to show you guys the HTML5 speed reading right here now. Um, I ran this the other day, and if we look really close there, you see I'm bouncing between... 25 frames per second, 26, I've gotten up to 27, 28, 29 um, frames per second before. Now I know there was a little bit of a dispute about what the speed read test, um, what, the, what the results were. Some people were saying it was 2 or 3 frames per second. Now what has actually happened, which what I think happened, is they were, they were using the computer version. Because I actually did an internet search, I did a search on my phone. Um, via Bing, and it came up with the um, the desktop version, and yes, that was running much, much, much slower. But this is for um, this is for mobile phone web browsers, and you can see we're up at that benchmark 27, um, and we've seen 28 or 29 frames per second. So um, overall, I'm still very, very impressed um, with the internet speed reading. I think it's it's done very well, and the HTML5 browser is. It's really well integrated. I like it a lot. Um, so let's just go back home to our tabs. I'll switch back to the other tab right in here. Um, so those are really the basic um, UI improvements with Internet Explorer 9. It's just a quick look. Um, again, very familiar. We get that HTML5 and just a little bit um, different integration with the tabs and the favorites. So, of course, uh, stay tuned. Uh, in the next couple weeks, we'll show you um, some more features. We'll get into the messaging hub here and um, uh, here in about the next week and uh, we'll see you guys next time.